question. You, sir. I can't speak, and so I'm going to have one of the interpreters with a microphone. <laughs> Thank you. My name is Dean Walker, Mr. Prime Minister, and I've come in from Toronto. I had a great passion to be here this evening. I've been a longtime Liberal and an advocate within my community, the deaf community. <laughs> one issue that we continue to see within our community, who has long voted Liberal, is that we struggle, as do other deaf Canadians across our nation, with the closure of schools for the deaf, with the impetus being the, of course, almighty dollar. How is it that we see these numbers continue to dwindle? We have recently seen that American Sign Language is not yet recognized as an official language, neither as La Langue des Cinq Québécois LSQ. Our deaf communities across the country do believe that with a win, we can see these actually come to be. And, sir, will you support this endeavor of our community? Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for your question. Um, it is uh, something that is uh, extremely important, I know, to you, to your community, but to all of us. The idea of a fair, accessible Canada, one in which everyone, regardless of uh, the challenges or the barriers they face in life, have a capacity to contribute fully, is something that we all know uh, should be something we strive for. Unfortunately, we continue to see uh, significant barriers for people uh, living with disabilities, for people facing uh, different barriers. And that's one of the reasons why we moved forward on uh, a, a barrier-free Canada, accessibility, a national accessibility uh, legislation that is looking at how we are going to systematically uh, reduce the barriers and create opportunities uh, for people living uh, with various challenges uh, in the coming years. Um, one of the great things about these town halls is, is this is something that I've learned not just tonight but at a past town hall uh, where it was pointed out that the accessibility legislation we put forward uh, didn't adequately address ASL or LSQ. Uh, so I give you the commitment that I will be uh, bringing this back to our Minister of Canadians with Disabilities, uh, Carla Qualtro, uh, and I will talk with her about exactly that concern. Um, in, regards, in regards to the closure of uh, institutions and schools uh, for uh, deaf Canadians and uh, deaf uh, children, this is something that is uh, entirely uh, a provincial decision. Uh, it is something that uh, we uh, certainly uh, regret, uh, something that I certainly hope that uh, the uh, current Ontario government uh, will rethink in its approach of uh, cutting schools and particularly cutting uh, deaf schools. Uh, but uh, this is something that ultimately uh, Canadians together, members of the community, need to stand up clearly and make it known that this is not a place where a provincial government should be cutting. Thank you, Dean, for your question.